But this, I feel like I have no idea what I'm getting myself into. I've had a bit of a disaster. <sighs> okay, that was crazy and now I don't want to sit inside. <sighs> oh my god. <sighs> it's eight o'clock in the morning. I'm in a lot of pain in my head. Yeah, I've just taken some painkillers, but I really don't want to go. I'm also really tired, as you can probably see. I only just about managed to get myself out of bed. Because I was like, I need to let the dogs out. I feel like if they weren't here, I'd still be in that bed right now. Oh, you do not understand how much, how much mental effort this has all taken me. I hate to be a moaner, you know, but I just want you guys to know that, yeah, I'm excited, but there are so many things standing in the way of Little bee needs, oh, stop wiggling. Help getting up the stairs. <laughs> there were just so many things standing in the way of me leaving, you know, getting out of bed, cold, headache, tired. I thought of having to like cycle in. I don't think I'm gonna cycle. And then I did that really annoying thing where you would just replay every, literally every single thing you're gonna do in the day. And you're like, wow, that seems like a lot. <laughs> I think you just don't want to do any of it. I don't want to get up and cycle into town and do a two hour workshop and then have to like jump around. Oh, anyway, come on, don't stop moaning. So it's taken me quite a long time to try and figure out what kind of method of transport I'm gonna use. I finally decided that I'm gonna drive because I thought originally that it was in town, like literally the city center, but I was looking at the wrong place. And it's actually in Clifton, which has like fairly good parking next to the downs anyway. And it's Sunday at 9 a.m. Which means that there's no parking permit restrictions on a Sunday, so I'm hoping. I mean, yeah, it might, there might be tough competition, but I'll leave a bit earlier and see how it goes. I'm thinking I get rid of my negative thoughts. The only way I know how, by venting about them in my morning pages. I just don't want to be late, you know? I also don't know what the parking situation is going to be like, so I've only got half an hour. It takes 10 minutes to drive there, so I just, I really don't want to be late for this. I literally can't believe I've made it into my car. Honestly, you do not understand the thoughts that were in my head this morning. No, don't go. Don't do it. Don't do it. So it's closed today. Hopefully not. And the roads are so nice and quiet. Thing about the more well, the morning and a Sunday morning as well. I can do a three-point turn in the road. And no one's sitting there like angrily looking at me, like, move! What are you doing, crazy lady? There's even a space behind me. I'm a bit like, I think the things that I'm nervous about, I'm not really like nervous session. I'm more nervous that they're not gonna be nice. <laughs> Cause I've been at improv and improv is like such a supportive atmosphere. Like when you fuck up, everyone's like, yay! But this, I feel like I have no idea what I'm getting myself into. Also, I don't know if what I'm wearing is okay. It's kind of like gym stuff. Cause the first hour, Apparently it's like a kind of physical session. So I thought, well, I'll wear some like gym stuff. You know, I'm wearing a sports bra and like a like a wicking top. So we'll see how that goes. Those are my two concerns right now. I can't believe I've made it out the door, to be honest, and I'm here. And I nearly went to the wrong location, but we figured it out. See you in a second.
Oh my god, it's literally right in front of it, looking at the map. Now I'm nervous. <laughs> Spotted the, the theatre school and I'm like, fuck, because it's actually like real now. <laughs> okay, don't think, just do, don't think, just do. We go into the under chin position. Are you here for the limbo as well? Yeah. Okay, cool, I am in the right place. Oh, thank you. Hello, <coughs> I'm here for the limbo, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you can just wait. I'll just sit here. Cool, thank you. come out. I think we'll talk more about it when I get home because it's, um, you know, I'm out and about. I want to show you the monologues. It's very different to improv. It's, um, obviously it's a lot it's more script based, obviously. <laughs> Oh, my laptop's there. Okay, that was crazy, and now I don't want to sit inside because we were just sat in the dining room, thankfully, and pups were out of the way. I was really worried about them, to be honest, because we were sat in the dining room. We heard this like massive crash. Like, I thought someone had crashed into the front of the house. What was that? Like, bang! Pups run out, but I only hear one run out. And then we go in, <laughs> and the ceiling, I'm laughing, it's so bad, but like, it was honestly comical because we told our estate agent about it. They ignored our emails, but we definitely sent them the email, being like, it looks like it's gonna fall through. Anyway, the ceiling just like fell off the roof. Quite happily reading my monologue to Tom, telling him about my <clears throat> time the Bristol Old Vic and then that happens. So I'm gonna sit out here and tell you. By the way, I'm eating the rest of my, my banoffee cake from my, um, went to the Bristol Loaf, which I'll leave in the recommendations at the end. It's a very good cake. Sesame and banoffee. Just did some mindfulness. We massaged our bodies, we stretched. It was actually pretty nice. I thought it was gonna be like super intense, like running around, um, exercising. And also my clothes were appropriate, they were fine. There was only five of us in the session, one instructor. So we did an hour of warm up and we warmed up our voice like ba 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 ka 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 ga ga ga. <laughs> Very fun. It was a lot more controlled than improv, I would say. Therefore it's a lot more serious and a bit less like comedic. And that's of course the piece that you're doing is comedy. Then we did a really good exercise for the second hour which was basically character creating, which is so important. Um, really understanding your character and then performing like a monologue at the end, which is only like a minute or so long. It wasn't a long one. So I created a character. I won't tell you all the details, but basically we were given like a, who are they, what are they doing there? I'll put it here maybe, like a picture of what the questions we had were. And then we had to say what each 
sentence, what what that um, feeling was going to be portrayed as. So my whole thing, my whole monologue was the feeling was I adore you. So it's like I something you, only one word. Lots of people were I love you, I like you, I adore you, I feel you I think, as in like emotionally feel you. And then we all performed at the end. I did mine with the instructor, I was like can I do it with you, like sitting down with you because it's much easier to perform with somebody like reacting to you or you can like look at somebody rather than pretending that somebody's there the conversation having a conversation with somebody so it kind of makes sense to sit down and do it with somebody anyway so i did it with her and she was like oh my god i really struggled not to respond in that <laughs> i may or may not have had a nap i was so tired i slept so badly last night oh i feel much better now but i'm probably not gonna sleep tonight so right let's go through the rest of the things that we did because remember I said we were gonna do them and then I fell asleep. So after the warm up and sort of during the warm up, we did lots of tongue twisters, working on enunciation, pronunciation. Let me tell you some of them now. Peter Piper picked a pet. Oh, see, fucked it up. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A tidy tiger tied her tie tighter. This one I find really hard. I want to. I want a proper cup of coffee and a proper copper plated coffee pot. I find the copper bit really hard. Betty bought a bit of butter, but the bit of butter Betty bought was bitter. Uh, we also did this, I guess it's like a poem. We read the poem and we got increasingly faster. My mouth and tongue are going to be very tired tomorrow. And then we did a monologue. Let me say a monologue. I feel like sitting in bed is not the way to do this, but we'll, we'll try it. I am looking for love. I'm actively looking for love. It just feels unrealistic. It doesn't feel real. That's not part of the monologue. That's me talking there. I also think that I just wouldn't say a lot of these things just like straight up. I would add some like, mm, yeah, or like some, yeah, just like, I don't know. I would add some extra bits in there. Maybe I should just say it like I would say it. I am looking for love. Yeah, I'm looking for love. I'm at what, where are you going? Stop falling down. Every time I turn around, you're like, I am looking for love. Yeah, I'm actively looking for love. You know those traffic light parties where you wear red if you're unavailable, amber if you're, if you might be, and green if you like absolutely are. Well, I'm on green constantly. See, this is something I wouldn't say. <laughs> I don't know how to make it sound more realistic. I sometimes, sometimes I think my heart might jump out of my chest, land on the floor with the pace that it beats. I like a lot of things and I love a lot of things. I like TikTok a lot. I actually have it on my iPhone, which I sort of hate because I see myself as more of an artsy person, more like a free spirit, which sounds so cheesy. But look, if you knew me, you wouldn't think it was so like, where, you know, I am a bit cartwheely, a bit out there. Do you know what I mean? So that was like more realistic, I would say, but I did it in more of an upbeat way earlier. I'm still, I'm still sort of figuring out how to do this thing. Let's do it in a more upbeat way, or like the way that I did it earlier anyway. I am looking for love. I'm actively looking for love. You know those traffic light parties where you wear red if you're unavailable, um, amber if you might be, and green if you absolutely are? Well, I'm on green constantly. Sometimes I think my heart might jump out of my chest, land on my floor, land on the floor at my feet, at the pace at which it beats. Yeah, I love a lot of things. Uh, no. Yeah, I like 
I like a lot of things. I love a lot of things. I Actually, I like TikTok quite a lot. I actually have it as an app on my phone, which I sort of hate because I see myself as more of an artsy person, more like a free spirit. So this is just too much. I see myself as more of an artsy person, more of a free spirit, which sounds really cheesy, but if you knew me, you wouldn't think it was so blah, you know? I'm a bit cartwheely, a bit sort of out there. Do you know what I mean? There we go. That was eight minutes, much too long. Ah. Uh, anyway, guys, next week is Shakespeare week. I have to come with a monologue from Shakespeare prepared. I've never, I have read Shakespeare, but like I've never performed it. No, I have, that's a lie. I performed it in primary school. <laughs> A Midsummer Night's Dream. Maybe I'll choose a passage from that. It's probably one of my favourite ones. Donkeys and fairies. And on that note, people, goodbye. I hope you enjoyed this vlog and I'll see you again tomorrow.